Hey everybody, here's a really great Joe DiOrio line from a tune called Tal of Sunshine, Naima Rainbow, Dance for Their Father. This is on an album that Joe did called Bonita, and then it's also on YouTube. You can hear Ira Sullivan's band playing this with Joe, Jocko, Steve Bagby. It's a really hard line to play. I played it back in the day with the DBT. I remember playing it back in Berlin on our first tour in 1984, and we got a great reception, so here it is. <laughs> So to break it down, and when I learned this from Joe way back when I was about 19, it's basically made up of shapes, and I have taken some of these ideas and morphed them into my own David Becker ideas. The first one starts off with this, which is typical Joe DiOrio, and I've used that a lot. The fourth line, which I have integrated into my playing in a lot of things. You can hear it in C3A. You can hear it in Blues for Brother Brew. In fact, that, Blues for Brother Brew, is just a morphed version of this line from Joe. But what Joe did, it starts with this shape here. Now this is actually the end of the phrase, but it's actually the first triplet of the next beat. Then it goes to this shape, which I've also used quite a bit, and then it slides down in a major third. And then we have this. And then it ends on the E flat. And then the walk up in fifths, up a flat five. Now this whole thing is in seven four, or you could count it in four and three, because the last beat is actually now the first beat of the next bar. So I've written it in seven four. I mean, I don't know how Joe thought of it, but uh, we thought of it as in seven when we played it back in the DBT. So I've written it that way, and you can look at it that way as well. So again, real slowly, it is. It comes right out of the chord progression. I've seen Joe play this a bunch of times, and whenever he played it with bass players and drummers who didn't know it, he would just say break, play the break, and then cue them to come back in on the one. It's a challenging line. Check out the version with Jocko and Joe and Ira Sullivan, Steve Bagby, man, it's great. This is a really cool tune that Joe wrote, and uh, it has a great melody to it as well. I'll talk more about the form of the song later on in another video, but I just wanted to dig out this line because it's a very important line in my development as a guitar player, and I hope you'll explore it as well.